Five things you should know about justification. The priceless teaching of justification by faith alone is taught in God's word. Anyone who has faith in Jesus is justified by his grace as a gift through the redemption in him, whom God put forward as a propitiation by his blood to be received by faith. Here are five realities regarding the idea of justification that every one of God's people needs to be aware of, even though it has great theological significance and can be the subject of in-depth academic study. Justification is a sweet solace. We should first be aware of how incredibly comforting this concept is. Justification reminds us that Jesus has taken all the necessary steps to secure our salvation. His self-sacrificing death on the cross satisfied the just punishment for our sins. God's justice was accomplished by his death, which also turned the tables on us. Through his proper adherence to God's commandments, Jesus led a perfect life. We are given credit for the Lord's satisfaction and perfect righteousness via grace and trust. All Christians should find solace in knowing that the Father sees us in Jesus as if we had been as innocent and perfect as Jesus is. Justification results in the greatest blessing. Second, we need to understand the greatest blessing God gives us in justification. Grace through faith has made us heirs to eternal life and righteousness in God's eyes. We now possess the gift of eternal life, as promised by Jesus. Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life. A specific type or quality of life is eternal life. The perfect blessedness of hearts that rightly love God, brains that fully know Him, and wills that completely obey Him is what eternal life means. The first moments of this brand new eternal existence are already present in us. As spiritual heirs, we have now received eternal life as our inheritance. We will also fully experience eternal life, body, and soul when Jesus returns in glory soon. Jesus gives us an eternal life of perfect and unbreakable communion with God. We should be thankful for the most significant benefit, eternal life, that individuals justified by faith receive. Justification entails close harmony with God. These advantages point us toward the third reality about justification. We already enjoy peace with God. All of our responsibilities to God have been fulfilled in Jesus. Between God and us, nothing is left unaccounted for. But a sinner may find it challenging to acknowledge the truth of this peace. There is nothing more difficult than to believe in the forgiveness of sins. But if we do not think we have peace with God, we will not consider we have been fully forgiven. It is frequently challenging to accept God's grace. We seek to atone for our faults or make it up to God with works of super-righteousness because of our human conceit. But the truth is that we are powerless to atone to God. We are insolvent debtors. That is the main idea of justification by faith. We cannot reconcile with God through obedience or sacrifice. We don't need to try, either. Through his death and obedience, Jesus brought about world peace. Faith encourages us to put our efforts aside and rely solely on the Lord's work. Because of Jesus' atoning work, everything that stood in the way of God and us has been removed, including our sin, guilt, and condemnation. Now that we believe in Jesus, we are at peace with God. Justification offers hope for the future. We arrive at the fourth truth that we have a future hope through our peace with God. Because of the Lord's work, we are at peace with God now and forever. Christians do not need to live in fear of the future, not even when they consider the possibility of appearing before God's wrath. God's final affirmation that we are righteous in his eyes is known as justification. This command from God cannot be changed or overturned. Even the final judgment will only reaffirm and demonstrate the integrity of the Lord's declaration that truly, truly, I say to you, anyone hears my message and believes him who sent me has eternal life. He has transitioned from death to life. Therefore, he does not stand before the judgment. Additionally, justification gives us future hope, especially when we are in front of God's judgment seat. God receives eternal praise via justification. Finally, everything we have discussed so far points us in the direction of the final and most important thing we need to understand about justification. It gives God the sole eternal honor. God alone deserves all the praise because he provides for our redemption from all eternity. From the beginning, the Father has loved his people with eternal love. 
He sent his son into the world to atone for his people's sins out of this unending love. Jesus deliberately entered this earth and brought our salvation through his life, death, and resurrection. The Holy Spirit, who instills faith in us through his word, is sent by the Father and the Son. He has graciously given us our faith, which justifies us. The Holy Spirit resides within us permanently, tying us to Jesus and enabling us to enjoy all the blessings of the Lord. The justification theory aids in exalting the triune God, who provides all that is required to make us righteous in his eyes. May we always be able to praise and glorify God our Savior as a result of our study of the priceless idea of justification.